watching your show long enough yet. I still can't get it straight. But the truth of the matter is there's no such thing as premature sex. I think anything... You, see, people have a, a way of interpreting sex as an outgrowth of love or of depth of a relationship. I don't think that there has to be an outgrowth of anything except desire. <laughs> and if two people desire each other, I don't see anything wrong with it. If you could get an AIDS test first to make sure that this is a, a person that can't threaten your life, it reached the point that everyone has to walk around with a card. Look, I just took a test someplace. <laughs> you have to have either a card or a condom. Which one do you want? <laughs> Is it all right for a woman? If you don't have a condom or a card, everybody says, hello, ho, ho. <laughs> Is it all right for a woman to give you the condom when you are in the bedroom? Positively, but her body is even it? better. I would rather have her body. <laughs> but I would say, even, even if she offers me her body, I would like her to give me a condom first. Okay. If she doesn't appeal to me, I could use it with somebody else. <laughs> understand and I'm gonna raise my eyebrows I understand that you date younger women I only date young women Why? because old women are tired <laughs> and when you were young by the time they take their clothes off they got nothing to do anymore they take that they be that they over you see it's a problem to an older person just to get ready for sex and they get so you mean tired for you? For, you? for me I'm very good shape I don't consider myself an older person <laughs> I just look like I'm passing away <laughs> When you were young, did you date older women? No. I don't see any purpose in dating. I'll tell you very frankly, if you're trying to be asked me an honest question, yes, I honestly don't care how old or, or young a person is. I think it's, the spirit of a person is what counts. Okay. The zest, the expression, the dynamism, the, uh, the involvement, the ambition, the drive, the energy. Like, take a look at you. You have more energy, spunk, and vitality than people half your age. And you, know, and you are more involved with sex than people half your age. You're you ten times more. You're ten times more. That's the truth. She's ten times more involved with sex, and I could see that you have more sex drive than most people. Probably true. I want to see. Probably I want true. to dance. Yeah, let's hear about this. I want to dance at your wedding. Would... I want to dance at your wedding. Make sure that you yeah, invite you me. Yeah, you could dance. I want... Do I have to come to a wedding for you to dance? Yes. <laughs> Can we put out the music and just dance? Do I have to get wiped out for the rest of my life just because you feel like dancing? <laughs> Yeah, we have a question from the audience. Yes. Could you describe the woman or women in your sexual fantasies, please? I think you would be perfect. <laughs> what time could we erase this? I, I don't think you have to describe a fantasy. Everybody knows what the fantasy is that everybody has about sex. They all have the same fantasy, that they're having a crazy wild time and they're doing everything they please and the other person is enjoying it so much that they can't stop. And if you could keep doing it as long as you're healthy, I think that's enough. <laughs> I think till you pass away is the best activity I can think of. But I'd like to know, why did, didn't you ever get married? I didn't get married because I make a lot of money. I don't want to make somebody a partner. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only field in the world. In the world, this is worse than communism. Even under communism, they say you share. You share, but over here, you don't share. You walk into somebody who has all the money, and you take half of it for nothing. <laughs> They're not entitled to it. There's no excuse But wait a moment. You could get a rich woman. You I could, could get, get a... a rich woman. If you know somebody that rich, I'll be glad to marry her. Ah, wait, wait, but wait. so far, all I find is people who want to be a partner with my money. <laughs> but you could also, you could do a prenuptial agreement. That's true. That, That's a new uh, idea. You could do a, a new prenuptial agreement. That, uh, <laughs> that, uh, that, uh, but I say this, who needs her in the first place? Why should I waste my time with it? If a person likes you, they could talk to you. Who says you have to marry them? If you could love a person I without marrying them. I think the idea of marriage stinks. The basic idea of marriage stinks. Because if marriage was any good, why is it that every study of marriage made proves, proves that three out of four marriages end either in divorce courts or in the relationship? In other words, they reach a point of total intolerance where they can't even stand each other. They assume that only about one-fifth of the marriages are, are even comparatively successful, where if you ask them, if, are you happy in your marriage, only one-fifth at most have ever answered yes which proves that primarily it's a failure. 
Now, what? Know. Why would you send somebody into a field where, it, where, at least eight out of ten times it's going to stink? No. Why would you? <laughs> why? Why? If somebody, if somebody opened a store on that corner and eight stores in a row bombed there, is that where you would tell them to open a store? <laughs> <laughs> You would tell them, go into a different business. <laughs> Marriage is the only field that stinks so clearly. Where every time you look at a married couple, you could see that marriage stinks. Look at any, any couple that's not married yet, and they're holding, they're squeezing, they're touching, they're sweating, they're jumping, they're flying. Look at any married couple. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even look at each other. They don't even know the other one is there. If the other one could pass away right in front of them, they wouldn't even notice it. <laughs> but if, uh, let's suppose.